we're off to a plantation, an historic site here in Jones County, Georgia. It's the Gerald Plantation. We hope to see all types of great stuff from, from the old days, way back. We've got our camera, and we're gonna take some great pictures and pass them on to you. So check it out. Let's see what we can see here at the Gerald Plantation today. Nestled in the red clay hills of Georgia, this cotton plantation was owned by a single family for more than 140 years. It survived General Sherman's march to the sea, typhoid fever, emancipation, reconstruction, the cotton boll weevil, and the advert of stream power and a transition from farming to forestry. This is the outhouse. It's large in comparison to most outhouses in its day as it has a place for three folks. Two on each end are a little bigger and the one in the middle is small. That's where the little stinker goes. In 1847, John Fitzgerald built a simple heart pine house typical of most plantations and made many of the furnishings visitors see today. In 1860, the 600-acre plantation was farmed by 39 slaves. After the Civil War, John increased his land to nearly 1,000 acres farmed by former slaves. As John aged, most workers left and the slave houses deteriorated and finally disappeared. This is the house from 1895 where the Gerald family grew his family. Twelve children were raised in this house. Here's the dining area where we have the uh, safe where we put pies, but today we have some preserves in there, very nice. Uh, the kitchen was located just beyond the dining area. all the little stinkers would sleep. Over in the other area, more bedroom. After John's death, his son Dick Gerald gave up teaching to return to the farm, and in 1895 he built a small house for his family that grew to 12 children. Dick diversified the farm, adding a sawmill, cotton gin, grist mill, shingle mill, planter, sugar cane press, syrup evaporator, workshop barn, and owl buildings. Just relaxing at the 1847 house that the uh, Gerald built for uh, seven of his children. This is quite quite a bit bigger than the other house that we looked at. But nice relaxing front porch, side porch. And then you have your sewing room and bedroom, kitchen. It's just all the amenities are here. So this is 500 pounds of cotton right here. We're in the cotton gin or the cotton factory or the cotton barn or the Cotton House, built in 1895 by one of the Geralds, they sold a bale of cotton for two dollars. Now this is 500 pounds of cotton. This is all that's left, just these rocks from a tenant house from the early 1850s. What a great trip this was, another back road treasure, taking those off roads to the back roads. Always stay out here, whether you could bring a family or a friend, bring your camera, just get outside, get on the back roads. Today we've had fun and we hope you'll have fun. We'll see you next time. I'm Daryl D.